Okay, so here we're asked to find the point of intersection of a line uh, given by this vector equation and this plane here. Okay, so let's just think about this abstractly for just a moment. Um, here we have a line intersecting a plane, and of course what we're being asked for is this point of intersection. And it really just boils down to kind of something simple, which is, do you understand what it means to actually be a point in this plane? So if this is a point, what it means is when I plug in the x coordinate of the point, and I plug in the y coordinate into here, and the z coordinate into here, and I do this multiplication and addition, I should end up with the number 15. So let's just look at a quick example. This is pretty basic, but it's important. So the point 2, minus 2, 1 is a point in the plane. And so let's check that that's actually true. So what do we have to check? We have to plug in the x component in for x, so 3 times 2, which is the x component here, minus 2 times our y component, which is minus 2, plus 5 times our z component, which is 1. So all I did was I took this x, y, and z, and I plugged them in for x, y, and z. Okay, and this is 6 minus, or sorry, 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 5. This is 15. So that checks out. This is a point in the plane, because when I plug it in and do this, this addition and multiplication, I end up with the number 15. So here, real quick, is a non-example. So the point Q equals 1, 1, 2 is not a point in the plane. Why? Because when I plug that in, I get 3 times 1 minus 2 times 1 plus 5 times 2. This simplifies to 11, which obviously, of course, is not 15. So this is not a point in the plane, because when I plug it in, I get 11 instead of 15. Okay, so we have this really basic concept. We spend about two minutes discovering what it means to be a point in the plane or kind of rethinking about that. Hopefully I already knew it. And so if I come up here, what let's think about what it means to be a point on the line. So here, this is the vector equation of the line, but I could write out the parametric equations. And this is just telling me that x is 1 minus 2t y is 3 plus 4t, and z is just t. So if I plug in any t value, what I get out is a point. I get the x, y, and z coordinates of a point on the line. So this gives me a point on the line, and I want it to be not only just a point on the line, but also a point in the plane. That's what it means to be an intersection point. You're a point on the line and you're a point on the plane. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But we've already just talked about what it means to be a point on the plane. It means when you plug in into this, you're equal to 15. So what that means is if this is a point on the line, this is a point, x, y, z, it's giving us a point, and we want to make sure that's on the plane, we should just plug in x in for x, y in for y, and z in for z, and make sure that it's equal to 15. Okay, so, all right, enough discussion. Let's actually do the computation here. So, what do we have to do? We take the x here. This is a point on the line, remember, and we're plugging it in to see if it's going to be a point on the plane. So, in for x goes 1 minus 2t minus 2, and then we plug in y, which is 3 plus 4t, plus 5, and then we plug in t, in for z. And we want to, what, what's happening is we're saying, we're plugging this in, and we want to make sure that this is equal to 15. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. This is 3 minus 6t, and then minus 2 minus 8t, plus 5t is equal to 15. 
And now, oops, I wrote I wrote something down right wrong right here. This should be minus six. So I distribute this minus two to the three. That should be a minus six there. And so the constant on this side is three minus six. So that's minus three. So we can add that over. We'll get 18 on this side. And then minus six minus eight is minus 14. T plus five T is minus nine T divide by minus nine and we get t is equal to minus two. Okay, so um, what did we figure out? It, we were looking for a point of intersection and all of a sudden we kind of went through this analysis and we ended up with t equals minus two. Well, that's certainly not a point, it's just a t value. But it is, it does have some some significance. So let me take this this computation we all it or what it helped us figure out was that t is equal to minus two and what does this mean what does this t equals minus two well it tells us how to find the point because remember what we said is we could plug in any t value it will give us a point on the line and what this is saying is you plug in this t value it will give you the point on the line that is also the point in the plane that was the whole point of this computation. When t is minus 2, the point that comes out will be a point in the plane. Okay, so let's, let's continue on here. We're almost done. So the point um, on the line or sorry, the point we're looking for then is the point that says plug t equals minus 2 into this this equation for the line. And what point comes out? Well, the, the x-coordinate is 1 minus 2 times the t-value, which is minus 2. The y-coordinate is 3 plus 4 times minus 2. And the z-coordinate is just minus 2, goes in for t. And so let's simplify this a little bit. This is the point 5 minus 5 minus 2. So this is certainly a point on the line. I mean, that's where it came from. We plugged minus 2 into the line. And because we got this t value by plugging the point into the equation for the line, we're guaranteed that this is actually a point in the plane also. But let's just go ahead one last do one last check here and check that that actually is a point in the plane. So we do 3 times the x-coordinate of our point, which is 5, minus 2 times the y-coordinate, which is minus 5, plus 5 times the z-coordinate, which is minus 2, and this becomes 15 uh, plus 10 minus 10, which just simplifies to 15. So check. This is a point on the line, the point corresponding to t equals 2, and it's also a point in the plane. And we knew that because we got it by plugging into the plane. We plugged these into the plane and we just found the t value that would guarantee that we were equal to 15. Okay, hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.